Well, isn't that ominous? Hello, everyone. Pretty Scooter here, and welcome to a uh, to a foray that I have long since abandoned, but have now come back to. A couple of years ago, I played Super Metroid for the first time for you guys, and throughout my adventure, a couple of you said, "If you like this game." you should look into Metroid Fusion, because it is effectively the best follow-up to Super Metroid in the, in the series. Well, some of you said that. Some of you said something along the lines of, Yo, when are you going to play Metroid Prime? Maybe. But regardless, we're here today at Metroid Fusion. Now, just to show you, I want to show you this because some people... Some people get mad for this thing, and also because I want to make sure the uh, the experience is authentic as possible. I am playing through the through the Wii U digital version or whatever, the Wii U eShop, the virtual console. That's the words. That's the word talk. Yes. But <clears throat> anyway, I plan to play through. I'm planning to play through this game. I'm going to try and 100 percent it once again. So I'm probably going to have an episode where I dedicate to searching and scram scrambling through throughout the areas, but the structuring of this is going to be probably a lot similar to when I was doing Breath of the Wild, where I'm just going to start talking, I'm going to keep talking, and at some point I'm going to cut off the episode, I'm going to cut off my own audio from the episode, and I'm going to stick in my little outro and whatnot. Trust me, it'll make sense in time, you'll understand when I'm post recording an outro or not regardless my rambling aside oh good I can copy data whenever I need to save so um now I do want to say well first I gotta go through this I've been assigned to watch over biologics research team so I once again found myself on the surface of SR388 <gasps> I know that place I played Metroid too. <laughs> That, that, oh, shoot it, shoot it, shoot, oh, it was there that I was attacked by a life form that I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Once the X had inf infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness, and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. Yo, that's a strong virus. If it's just like, hey, yo, you know that you know that thing at the base of your neck that controls all your all your everything? No, I don't either. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before our impact. Biologics the vessel recovered it and transported me to the Galactic Federation HQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of the, my suit had to be surgically removed dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X and the central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then someone found a cure. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. Oh my gosh, so that's the whole tie-in? The, me the Metroids? It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. So, 
So the biological makeup of a Metroid is strong enough. It's something that's strong enough to kill off this virus that just bred on SR388 between the time of Metroid 2. Well, basically from the time Metroid 3, uh, Super Metroid started and the start of this game happened. Wow. Life moves fast in space. One, one life ended, yet a survived reborn. As something different. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid Hatchling my life twice over. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. The ship's computer has notified me of our, uh, of our approach to the biological space labs research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures as we, ca we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station, and for some reason, this awoke a nameless fear within my heart, and I now know I'm being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computerized CO is something I have to bear as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I've found myself having to do so. Makes me recall my other CO. Oh! Does that make other M canon? Oh no! Oh no -y. Big oh no! Which, at some, I don't know when, but at some point I plan to do something with Other M because I actually like that game. Story's kind of end, but I like that game. <laughs> now you know how what kind of flames to, th th flames to throw at me. Intriguing. It's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. Oh! Yeah, that's always good when the quarantine bay is exploding. The bay currently stores capsules containing re recent samples from SR3 as well as positive suit infected by the X parasites. I can hold A to skip. I found out the cause of the explosion is yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still a unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that. Stop the navigation room on the way. Uplink there. Is your objective clear? Yes. Now get there. Anyway. The fusion suit. I should use the D-pad. Okay, so B is shoot. Hold on, can I move controls? I gotta see this. Um, quick pause in the episode. Okay, I changed jump and shoot. I kinda need it like this. Even though Super Metroid did kind of... Okay, good. Okay, so I can use the shoulder to aim still. Alright, that's what I want to know. Uh, I forgot what topic I was on, but... I will say that... Because of your guys' encouragement from Super Metroid, I am... Oh, I can ledge grab. Because of your guys' encouragement from Super Metroid, I have been kind of sitting on the back burner in this game for some time. Now, I want... Now... Uh, I am gonna know. I am gonna know like three things, and that's from that's from watching the A2 or A2 SM or A2 MR, another Metroid 2 or AM 2R. There we go, another Metroid 2 remake. Just from that, I'm gonna know a few things about this game, just because uh, it has been explained to me by some people. Quarantine Bay is ahead. Okay, so hang a left and I should get there. So I am going to know things about, like, the ledge grab mechanic. That's, like, the major thing I know. But I will tell you that I have not seen any footage of Super... Of, uh, well, Super Metroid Ball. I have not seen any footage or played any of this game. Only thing I know is from... Good lord, it's a little loud. Only thing I know about this game is just from... Is just from whatever Nintendo Power has showed me in the past. Although I know there's already going to be like a power up there. Hello. 
Oh, that's a... Well, at least I can aim down and shoot. Although it's going to be a little weird to do. Can I do... Yeah, I can do... Well, that's a bad sign. Can't do anything here, but I, I can at least see what's going on. Now, I wasn't supposed to be here yet, was I? No, I was supposed to go there. Or was it... So yeah, I know... So anyway, just to recap, I know about the ledge grab mechanic. That's about the only thing I know about. Okay. Now, because I'm editing it as I am, I uh, can tell you that I'll be able to make adjustments needed. Which new specimens are brought back by the field team or infected by ex-parasites. The ex-mimic is prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. A security sensor scanned one of the gelat uh, gelatinous ex-parasites and, and invade and rapidly reproduce. DNA and use it to mimic the... Ooh. Oh! Oh, I get it. Okay, I get it. So these were creatures that were on SR388, but because the Metroid were eradicated from SR388 as per directive by the Galactic Federation, the X parasite could have spread and become such a such a terrifying beast. Host it by merely touching them. Oh. Massive bio... Okay. So it looks like every now and again I do have to check into these navigation bays, so... Needs you alive on duty. So, it is a little more... I feel like this one is a little more friendly. I feel like this game is going to be a little more friendly to me. Because it's gonna... It will allow me to... It's going to allow me to, like, check in at a navigation post and be like, Hey, what am I supposed to do next, Mr. Computer, Big Brain Computer? Go here. Okay! But hey, I'm okay with my hand being held on occasion. Because if my hand's not held on occasion, especially when I'm playing something blind, I'm going to totally botch something. Like, holy cow, I botched it. Alright, let me look at the map quick. Can't, I can't actually go up in the previous room, can I? Uh, no, I can't, but I can go further here. That's the major thing I need to remember about Metroid games is... Okay, it looks like Super Missile Doors. Something that I need to remember about Metroid game, about Metroid games in general is... Yes, some of the stuff is going to be blocked off from you, but not everything will be blocked off from you. So, just be prepared to move, and keep moving until you have feel like you've uh, rounded every corner. Hello! Uh, okay. Are they, is that reforming? Okay, I thought it would be reforming. Okay, that navigation bay just uh, just so I can check in quicker. Can't go. Really? Okay, that's gonna be a little upsetting if I have to always check into the navigation room. News from HQ: They can support you with downloadable weapon data. Add to the data room, which is up there. I kind of got the feeling. Thanks, buddy. My chance of survival has grown. So, let me go up here, and then I think I'll double back so I can get some stuff. I wish I could use, like, R to aim downwards. Like, currently all I only have is aiming up. I only have it all I have is unless I press down, all I have is like aim up at an angle with the left with the left shoulder. But hey, that's just my thought process. The computer reminds me of a gruff Federation CEO I served on named Adam Malkovic. Call me Lady Emissions. For anyone else, it would have been sound of cast, but Adam made it sound dignified. 
Oh, I know all about I know all about Adam. Don't worry. I played other M, unfortunately. Now let's see here. There's something big in here. Okay, is this a refill station? Yep, recharge room. Save station. Now, I'll be probably, once I get missiles, no, once I get probably the token crawl along the ground ability, I probably will be a little more investigative. Huh? Nope, can't get up there. Huh. That, that's definitely something in the wall there. Anyway, once I get, like, the ability to do something, I'll be more thorough. So, the data. Thanks for missiles. Oh, that's why R doesn't aim down because I, it is my quick button for missile. Hey, you know, if you're going to let... And now things are powering on. Electrical interference was knocked out by the elevators on the main deck. Maybe related to the X, I'll work on it for you, as for you. Try and find another way to the target. It's located here. Oh, reading huge bio science, I hope... No, don't worry, I actually did stop talking there. But now that we have missiles in hand, we need to head to our next target and find out why all the power has been cut off. Everyone, thank you so much for watching, and you have a great rest of your day.